keep going. We we need uh, Graham Mark, you know, to <laughs> narrate our books. I mean, uh, yeah. So keep going. Yeah. My people, as you can see, my hair is now grey. I can barely walk without a staff. My muscles are giving in, and my sight has grown weak. However, above all. God has been gracious to me and the Queen. We are celebrating fifty years on the throne today, and I cannot ask for more. As you may know, I have also found peace in my barrenness. As a king, I have loved your children as my children. Today, as a sign of that love, I will start a journey to choose my successor from your children. David Morimi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did I say your name right? Yeah, perfect. I mean, okay. I, I don't expect any better. That, that's uh, <laughs> that's it. That's my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so where are you? So I'm currently in Dallas, uh, in the in the states. Is yeah. that where you're based uh, in in Dallas? Uh, not really. I moved here just like uh, 36 days ago. I moved here like September 25th. Uh, so I'll be based here for some time now. Um, but I not usually I'm based in Nairobi. So I came from Nairobi to you know to Dallas. Uh, Right, so Nairobi. Now that is Kenya or Kenya. What's the pronunciation? What's the correct pronunciation there? It's Kenya. So for us, we call it Kenya. Yeah. But uh, of course, a lot of people in from Europe call it uh, Kenya. Yeah. So I think either works, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you're easy going yeah. enough not to be offended if I get it wrong. Okay. No, I'll go with I mean, Kenya if that's a, if that's okay. The thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay yeah. then. So first of all, then. Tell me yeah. why you've moved to Dallas for a little while. Right. Uh, so my career, you know, I'm a, I'm a, you know, co-founder of a tech company. Right. So we do cloud computing services, and yeah. uh, we founded in Kenya. We have a, a We have offices in Nigeria, South Africa, and here in the US. So what has happened is that uh, our US market has been growing quite fast and uh so there's a need to just come in here and just uh, try to look after the customer here and uh, yeah. set up structures then after that uh we'll see whether I, I will stay around or i'll go to some other place but uh that's the objective for now yeah and what's the name of the company so our company is called uh, cloud dune cloud Dune, Cloud Dune, just uh, the word cloud, then double O N, Cloud Dune. Okay, Cloud Dune, Cloud Dune. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, you got a name. Yeah, right. and it's cloud. Um, it's not so. Is it cloud storage, or is are you doing cloud? Have you got software that's online as well? Then? Yeah, so storage is part of the solution, but uh, we our solutions are for small and medium businesses. So we try yeah. to give them a, a full service. That is, we ensure that their website are up online, you know, up and running. We ensure that uh, they can be able to, uh, you know, uh, get the leads going to their CRMs. So basically, we, 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 we are the cloud partner for an SME. So if they come to us, they don't need to, you know, go elsewhere for their solution. So you do everything. Their emails, yeah, yeah their emails, their website, um, their storage, um their web security yeah basically things around that uh of yeah. course if someone has special needs there are things that uh, we don't cover and uh so they, they they go to other players as well but uh we try to provide uh, a suit of uh everything that uh, an sme requires to basically succeed online you know right yeah. right well then it would seem that that kind of work is a very precise, very analytical type thing. We have two hemispheres of our brain, the left brain and the right brain. The, if you, to use a Star Trek reference, a very old Star Trek reference, yeah. uh, left yeah. is Spock and right is Kirk. It would seem that 
You would need more of a right brain for creativity and for writing, yet your background seems to be left brain orientated. How did, how did this happen? How did how did a left brain person become a successful yeah. writer? <laughs> right, thanks. I mean, uh, that's a big compliment to hear that from you. But uh, just to, I mean, to go to the to the to the bottom of it. Um, so actually, um, by by training, I'm an engineer. Like uh, I, I mean, I graduated as as a civil engineer. Right. Um, when I became a civil engineer, I mean, uh, uh, back in Nairobi or in Kenya, a lot of jobs have gone to the. Uh, just, you know, Chinese, they just come and uh, design and build everything. So wow. there's little left for uh, for the locals, you know. Yeah. But uh, my passion was still in computing, and I had some a few of computing. So I started doing a few computing stuff here and there. Then before, then, before long, it became a business and started to grow, and uh, I fully, you know, uh, moved to that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a, uh, an engineer, analytical person, kind of a person, not creative kind of a person. But and, you've uh, written this wonderful book, which is all creativity. <laughs> so, so, yeah, let me, let me go to where. So, uh, so what happened is that uh, I don't want to take credit for the entire story. I'll, I'll, I'll say where I'm my my input is because okay. what happened is when i i turned uh 12 um my dad sent me an email and uh in that email he he had uh, this story but it was not as it is it was just basically there was this king who uh you know wanted to find uh uh you know high uh hair and uh so he went through this process of giving uh, kids some seeds I mean, and, without uh, giving without giving too much away about the book yeah. the book is about a yeah. king who has no children yeah. so yeah. He, someone is going to and he's a loved king in the kingdom he's he's a really nice yeah. he's a good guy he's not a bad king he's yeah. a good king yeah. and yeah. he's he's admired by the whole of the the kingdom and and he yeah. says you know when he dies who's going to take over as the monarch yeah. and yeah. he wants one of the he, he sees the children of the uh, of the the people there as his children too he has a responsibility yeah. and he decides yeah. that one of those children is going to become the heir and then he has yeah. a quite a creative way of, of working that out that's the story yeah. without yeah. giving too much away because i yes, there's, yes, there's, yes, you know yeah. a, a standalone yeah. son so you're saying your yeah. dad your dad emailed you the basic outline so, yeah. of the story. and uh you know and that's the only email that my dad you know ever send me because, really uh, yeah because you know my dad is a is a you know is a he's not an engineer but it's a like a, a junior engineer or a craftsman you know th those people that works with engineers and uh, so computers are not are not his thing oh he's so, more of a hands-on hands-on engineer yeah. yeah he likes to get his yeah. hands dirty and get in the thing yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so when he sent me that email uh, even though I lost the email at some point because it was only how that was close at some point, but uh, the story remained in me because I, you know, I always ask myself like, uh, uh, I mean, you know, the, the integrity, the, the this, uh, integrity is. Uh, it's, that's that's that, the uh, message. It's about honesty yeah. and integrity, and a, and yeah. and having the right character to be the yeah. king of the people. Yeah. yeah, and and what the king does, he 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 sets a test, which I don't want to say what it is, but he yes. sets a test, and unbeknown yeah. to the kids taking the test, yeah. he's looking for he's looking for honor and character and integrity and honesty, yeah. all the things yeah. that would make a great yeah. king. So it's yeah. quite clever. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I I borrowed from that story. So think of it as a story that has been forwarded from along the family so and i thought yeah. now i just got a son so my son is like 19 19 months right now congratulations so, thank you and so when i got a son i thought now what can i do uh, or how can i pass you know this thing that was so central in my up you know in my growing up 
It was passed on by your father, and that was the intention, yeah. was it, to inspire you to, yeah. to, to, to lead a life of integrity and honor? Is yeah. that why he yeah. did it? Great. Yeah, okay. that was perfect. That, perfect for what, what you wanted. And so, those, yeah. so now I thought, how do I pass over to my son? And uh, yeah. I can't send him an email, or I <laughs> can't, you know. So I, I, so I, I thought now, I mean, I do want to be try to be an author. So, yeah, but I have to do something so that, uh, yeah, I can pass it over to him as it grows yes. up. Yes, so a reference point maybe to. You know, yeah, so that's where, you know, the whole idea came from. And who is the book for then? I mean, you've written it as inspiration to your son. What yeah. kind of, I'm guessing you're hoping that parents buy this and read it to their young children yeah. or their young children read it themselves? Yeah, yeah so, uh, you know, when, when, when I was having that story, I thought it's not beneficial if uh, I just shared it to my son. And uh, I thought it is important that uh, everyone who is able to read, I mean, like, think of, about it, four years old to like uh, 14 years old. Okay. Who, yeah. Where, I mean, the person is being formed, you know, in terms yeah. of morals. So, yes. so I thought, how uh, uh, about uh, we, we, we write uh, in a way that a parent can read the story to their, to their young ones, to their, you know, to their young ones and uh yeah, yeah so so i, I kind of debated around wh how to go about it because the, the, there was so much and uh even part of the reviews that i've received so far uh i mean they they uh you know like uh, i received one good review that uh uh was a bit critical that uh what about the, the girl what about you know and uh, so, I mean, it, it, so that those are some of the things that I, I dealt with. I I, did, I wanted to share the story in a manner that it is a bit it relates with the, with my son, but also it, it can relate with any 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 other uh, you know child or even son of you know. So I was torn between there, and uh, I mean, uh, I think I, now that I'm not a professional writer. I might have missed something, you know, along the way, but uh, uh, we nah, will look the for. The book's it. great. The book is great, okay, David. Thanks, it's a love. It's a lovely, lovely book, and okay, um, it's reminiscent of like the kind of thing you would see in in a in a religious book, like in the Bible or something, you know, because mm -hmm. it's a it's yeah. it's a parable kind of. Um, it's uh, mm -hmm. you know it, that that's what it is. It has a. Yeah, There's a moral yeah. to the story, but it's also a yeah. good story, and it's it's really well written, and I really enjoyed reading it. So awesome. so now parents parents who don't want to read it to their children, they can mm. have me read it to their children awesome. yeah. in, the, in the audio book, and I'll read it yes. to their children on a car yeah. journey. Just put it on, you know, download yeah. it or whatever, you know, put it yeah. through the car stereo and everyone can enjoy it yeah. in the car or, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, with, with headphones yeah. on or they can play, the kids can play it on their phone if they're allowed a phone, yeah. if if, yeah. if that's the yeah. way it goes. Yeah, yeah. and I, I really enjoyed do. doing it. Yeah. And in fact, here's, here's a thing that'll get you more sales. Mm -hmm. the, they can download the, the print book and the yeah. audio book and when the yeah. kids are learning to read, they can listen to me yeah. talking and read along and yes. learn to read yes. at the same yes. time. Yes. Right there. Yes. yes. And you'll, yes. you'll sell twice uh, as many. Yes. I wish I could be able to pass this message to, <laughs> to, I mean, I could be able to put that message out there as you said it, because that was the intention. Actually, yeah. the, one of the reasons why I was so desperate to have you uh, do the book is, uh, I, I, you know, your voice is quite authoritative, like, uh, you know, it's like a father, you know, uh, sharing a story to, to, to a child. And I thought, you know, parents and even children would, would relate to that, you know, it's, you know. And so uh, when I came ar across your, you know, your samples, I was like, no, this is a, this is a guy we are going to work with. And uh, so I was so afraid that uh, we are not going to agree. And, uh, but uh, I'm glad, you know, we agreed because you made the book perfect. Now, things that I was struggling with, 
here and there. Right now, it's perfect on the audio. Actually, when someone is asking me for uh, how to get it, I'm, I'm telling them, try the audio first. I mean, that is, because now that is a, that's like, a, you know, the best, best uh, they say the best step forward or the best uh it's the uh, fastest growing f uh, for uh, fastest growing genre in publishing right now is audiobooks yeah awesome. it's growing faster awesome. than ebooks and and anything yeah. any other form of publishing yeah. audiobooks is the fastest growing wow. uh, at the moment yeah. right now yeah worldwide yeah more and more audiobooks i forget the figures i used to have them of how many billions mm -hmm. of dollars of audiobooks are sold each year wow. but each year it grows massively wow. yeah just go wow. just google wow. it google the audiobook oh, yeah. sales figures mm -hmm. and yeah. audiobook revenue for like yeah. the last five years it's been growing yeah. i'd hate to i'd hate to give you the, a percentage because i'm i can't remember it mm -hmm. exactly but it's growing yeah. by a lot yeah. every year it's like yeah. it's more than 10 percent. Yeah. it's something like a third or something like that and and yeah. once again check those numbers i might have those uh, uh yeah. way off it might only be 20 percent, but it is growing a lot and it's no other yeah. form of publishing is growing that fast as audiobooks and wow. you know there's a writer i work with in wales i've done a series mm -hmm. of i think we've done six fantasy books for him the goblin mm -hmm. summoner series and he always says, yeah, his advice to authors is, if you're mm. not turning your book into an audio book, you're leaving yeah. money on the table. Because yeah. once the audio book's yes. done, it's done, you know, and you've already yeah. written it. You've gone, you've gone through all the, the headaches and the writing and yes. the rewriting and the drafts and yes. the getting yeah. it to the publisher. And if you've used an editor, an editor's looked over it and changed it and whatever. It's, it's ready to go for an audio, but there's nothing else. Yeah. It's not like you have to start yeah. again and write it again. You just yeah. hand it over yeah. to a narrator and they'll turn it into an yeah. audio book. You yeah. give them the feedback yeah. and say, yeah, this is working well. This is going good. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't yeah. like it, they'll say, can you change this? And you change. That's all you do. Yeah. And yeah. you really are. If you don't make your book into an audio book, you're missing out on yeah. the fastest growing sector in publishing. <laughs> I, I agree 100% because... Yeah. Uh, with the audio, you capture almost everyone. And uh, actually, I saw that uh, at uh, SCX, once you submit uh, the audio, I think they'll translate it to Spanish or something. They so, will? Oh, excellent. Yeah. Great. So you, 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 you are kind of uh, uh, tapping into even the market that you did not write for. So, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think if I have any kind of book, I have to turn it to, to audio because... Uh, because even for me, I, I mean, I listen to more audiobooks than I read in a year. Like, you know, yeah. sometimes just plug in, you know, earphones and just go through a book. Yeah. Yeah. And it uh, uh, makes sense with the numbers you're saying about uh, uh, the, the, the fastest growing because uh, that's one of the, you know, the, the, the books that I consume so much, you know, uh, yeah. more than books and, uh, you know, uh, print. Yeah. Well, they're so much more yeah. convenient because you can drive while you can do, you know, yeah. you can do jobs around the house. You can just have the book mm -hmm. going, you know, whereas with a yeah. print book, you do have to commit to it. And it's still nice <laughs> yeah. to read. It's nice to read yeah. now and again. It, you know, yeah. it's good. But I would imagine someone in your line of work, business books would be a good one to get as an audio book. You know, I can yeah. remember yeah. Well, I was a radio presenter for many years and yeah. Uh, yeah. you work you know, freelance with radio stations and there is, you mm -hmm. know, the ones I worked for anyway, there was no set rate of pay. You mm -hmm. had to negotiate your own deal. And um, <laughs> I, I had no idea about negotiating okay. because before radio, yeah. I was an air conditioning engineer, you know. I had no yeah, idea yeah. about negotiating. And I had to learn how to negotiate with people who were proper, oh. proper, that was their job was negotiating and i and yeah, i listened to yeah. an audio book uh, with some ideas uh, about negotiating a, a deal you know and uh, mm -hmm. and i still use some of that stuff now when i'm working with others like yourself <laughs> to uh, to work out yeah. what the compensation yeah. should be for doing the audio book you know wow. and it was an audio book wow, yeah. that that i listened to that that got me there with all that and brought me up to speed and you know and i had to learn that with negotiating it's never a win lose or a lose yeah. win it's always yeah. got to be a win-win both parties have to yeah. be 100 percent happy with the deal or yeah. it's not a good deal yeah. you know and things yeah. just things like that you know which gets back to integrity and character and honor yeah. which is what yeah, your book true. actually does standalone son does that but for kids to understand early 
about those yeah. things, which is so valuable, yeah. uh, especially in this day and age where more and more people work for themselves or set up yeah. a business like you did. Yeah, um, yeah. More and more people are doing that. It's we're in a golden age of entrepreneurship. You know, yeah, you, you yeah. know, even my small audiobook business, it's a business. And, a business. you know, to know that you've got to run it with honor and integrity and you've got to look yeah. after your clients and all yeah. those values, they're all yeah. in standalone sum. It's about yeah. honesty and doing the right thing yeah. and, and it being about character, because if you don't do yeah. that, you know, yeah. you'll get found out and you'll eventually... Yeah. You know, you'll yeah. alienate your, your, your clients. Yeah. You've got to look after your clients. So even though yeah. the you know obviously the, the the character traits of honesty and 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 honorability and, and you know being a, a, a strong character and, and everything, integrity, they're important in every aspect of life. Yeah. But I yeah. think to get kids set up really early on um, mm -hmm. that way, I think this is a great great book. It's a lovely story yeah. as well. It was lovely yeah. to read. Any, yeah. Anything that's got like a king in it, you know, is, you know, he's got the, you know, the, but you have to, <laughs> you have to bung it on and be like, you know, I'm the king and mm -hmm. I have it. But mm -hmm. he was, the thing was, he was a nice king. So he wasn't yeah. like a, a staunch, he was like, he was a mm -hmm. warm, friendly king and he loved his people. Yeah. So he was yeah. lovely to do. That voice was really lovely yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. It's a terrific I book. And uh, I mean, the, the, the best thing about it, it's how you brought in the, you know, the character of the king, like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, the, the tone variations, uh, depending on the, uh, on the scene of the book, that was very interesting. And uh, it's, I didn't know it's the same narrator can uh, be able just to, sh you know, shift depending on the, on the scene, but uh, when you when you listen to the audiobook, uh, I mean you, you you kind now see the image like you're watching a movie because <laughs> the, you know the how how the you know how the narrator is uh, you know shifting the scenes with the tone variations and all that and uh, you know we we thank God that you are in radio for so long because I think there is where you just got some of these uh, uh, very good skills. Uh, you know, around narration and uh, all that. So I, I think, uh, I think, yeah, I agree with you. The book is good, but uh, you made it better through the, 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 the you know, the, 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 the audios, the, I mean, uh, like, and uh, the way you, you, you got this into the spirit of the book and uh, you were able to, uh, you know, to, I mean to bring it to the to the listener. Like the listener is like part of this kingdom, or is uh, like watching a, a film on this uh, kingdom. And uh, um, I, I, that uh, I mean, you know, that's what makes me even more proud about this 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 book because uh, no one can uh, uh, you know can question the audiobook, okay? Because the audiobook is just excellent, you know. And, uh, well, well, I thank I, you for the compliment, David. But what you've got to remember is it's always, always, always about the writing. And when I saw the audition script and I read the audition script, and I thought, yeah, this is really, really nicely written. I could have some fun with this. I'd love to do this. And that was, the, and that's how I go with all the books I audition for. I only audition for them if well, I read the I read lots of audition scripts, but I only yeah. audition for the ones that really touch me and i think yeah i, I think i can work I, I think i know where he's coming from here sometimes i get it wrong you know and i get a message saying no it's not really what we were looking for and, you know, okay i got it wrong but, but yours was spot on it was just so well yeah. written so lovely it's just nice nice book yeah so well done and congratulations on putting out a nice book and thank you so much for letting me narrate it thank you uh, i mean it has been great working with you and uh um, you know, some guys are saying we, we want to know what uh, happened with Simba. I mean, well, all right. So there's here. a sequel, <laughs> maybe. Is the room yeah, open? So, <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking about that because that's a, that's a huge call. Because now, I mean, just you know, that, that's a huge call now trying to do uh, a, a series of you know of a bloke is, who becomes king who wasn't expecting to be king who wasn't yeah. given all that 
background and training yeah. and nurturing in a royal environment yeah. who suddenly yeah. becomes king of yeah. the place that he lives it's not like it's another yeah. it's his yeah. his yeah. his country that's a great yeah. idea and maybe yeah. even he could get to a test where he's he's forced to make a decision and because mm. he's got the honor and the integrity he goes the right yeah. way and they all live yeah. happily ever after wow. that would be a good book that's that a would great be a script good from book. you <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the you, ideas. Yeah, know? yeah. I'm noting them down, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, uh, we we look into that, but for now we're just trying to uh, see if we can. I I don't know how it goes. You know, I'm not a professional author. I don't know how it goes, but uh, we're just capturing all the reviews. You know, there's so much reviews coming in. Yeah. But uh, so I don't know whether they are put into the version two of that or i don't know if that goes but uh, for now i'm just capturing all the reviews and uh yeah i mean acknowledging yeah uh i mean a, a lot of uh readers have a uh you know uh a, a good point on almost a lot of things uh on the story so uh i mean it's humbling just to see people have uh uh you know interest and uh uh ideas on how the book could be better but yeah. uh, uh yeah, yeah but you're always now. you're always gonna get that that's the nature of the internet that is okay. the nature of the internet <laughs> okay yeah. yeah the highest the highest selling audio book i've done and it sold thousands mm -hmm. and thousands of thousands of copies thousands and thousands oh, and man. thousands of copies no, 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 and no. the highest that the highest selling book i've done some of the reviews I get, most of them are great. But every now and again, there's an odd review says it's terrible. Well, if it was terrible, yeah, people yeah. would be buying in the thousands. So you're always, always yeah. going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, There are people who yeah. don't like the Beatles, and they're the most successful musical act ever. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. You, what yeah. does that tell you? You, you yeah, cannot I mean, please uh, everybody. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, it's great to talk to you, David. Continued success. And I hope you're enjoying this journey, this uh, author journey that you're on as a writer. Yeah. And uh, in, a, in a left brain world, you've given it a, la a left brain aspect. You're inspiring children. It's great for parents, too. It's called Standalone Son. In the, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the uh, notes, in the links, I'll put a link to Amazon where you can download uh, standalone son from anywhere in the world wherever you're watching this on youtube and uh, david please stay in touch and thank you once again for choosing me as your narrator it was fun to do thank you you just did justice to the book and uh uh you know thank god for you thanks keep doing it <laughs>